Well, hey everybody, and welcome Pastor Rob here to our Highway Home Church and our premiere. This will probably be the last premiere for a while. We wanted to make sure that we did this just to make sure that we caught any of the people who were regularly tuning in for this premiere who did not know that we are back and we are in person in our services in accordance with the government of government of Ontario. Uh, we can open our doors and we can have service. We can hold religious services up to, to up to 15% capacity. And so that's what we're doing today. So what's going to happen today in our service is I'll give you a little bit of a, of a synopsis of what we're going to be talking about in person. And then what you're going to find is that the, the video from today's service will actually be uploaded to our YouTube channel uh, approximately 2.30, depending on how long it takes to edit and then upload it. But if you would like to check back uh, at that time, that would be that would be wonderful. And you'll see the sermon in its entirety um, at that time. Of course, through the pandemic, this has been, um, you know, it's been a, a blessing, right? To be able to use some technology to connect us together, to get the word of God out, to have a little bit of connection, um, you know, with, with, the, with the church folks. But at this point, we're so excited that we're back in person and uh, we, can, we can have these services. So as you know, we have started this series called Holy Habits. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. And a couple of weeks ago, Pastor Scott talked about reading scripture as a habit. We talked last week about prayer and meditation, which we, you know, invited you to uh, take part in that and apply those practical truths. And this week is that popular uh, subject of fasting, fasting and prayer. This is a spiritual discipline. In fact, Jesus, when he instructed his disciples on the Sermon on the Mount, and instructed everybody that was there, he didn't say, if you fast and pray, you know, do such and such. He said, when you fast and pray, when you fast and pray. And so my question to you right off the bat is, is just simply, when's the last time you fasted anything or fasted and prayed for anything in your Christian life? Uh, Jesus was under the assumption that if you were a believer in God, this would be part of of just your regular, um, your regular, the regular disciplines that you would live out as you lived in the Christian faith. Of course, you know that our our verse for this um, this series is First Timothy four seven and eight, which says, "Do not waste your time arguing over godless ideas or old wives' tales, but instead train yourself to be godly." And we're focusing on those five words. Physical training is good. But training for godliness is much better, um, promising benefits in this life and the life to come. And so in this week, we, we came across, um, and during our small group, we came across the Amplified Version. So if I can turn up the volume for you and read the Amplified Version, um, I want to just share this quickly with you, this, this thought, before we get to the sermon, which will be posted a little bit later on. Amplified says, but have nothing to do with a reverent folklore and silly myths. On the other hand, discipline yourself for the purpose of godliness, keeping yourself spiritually fit. Keeping yourself spiritually fit. And this is the question that I wanna ask. You know, as we're heading the, into the summer, uh, you know, people are kind of getting back to eating properly and exercising regularly and trying to lose the, the COVID, you know, 15 or COVID 20 or uh, whatever. For me, in my case, it was the COVID 35, uh, you know, and we're trying to get back to the place where we're more disciplined and we're going to be, you know, fit and healthy. And so the question that I want to ask you today is, are you healthy in your spiritual life? And that's what we're going to be asking on Sunday. And then the key step to be able to take for this, one of the key steps that you can take here, is the discipline is the discipline of fasting. Now, fasting is all throughout Scripture, both Old Testament and New Testament. Jesus not only did it, but talked about it quite a bit as well. And uh, so here's the thing that I want to just prime the pump for you so that you'll return back to our 2.30 uh, posting of our sermon, is that... 
Uh, and I want to give you about six or seven reasons why you should be fasting or why you could be fasting. And the number one reason that I want to give you is if you're seeking wisdom for something or you're seeking God's direction on something. Of course, Moses, we know during the time of the Ten Commandments, went up on Mount Sinai for 40 days and 40 nights and ate nothing. Uh, but in that moment, got all this wisdom from the Lord about how the Israelites should move forward. The second one is fasting for humility. Uh, the world will tell us to fill ourselves with ourselves and just to kind of make ourselves bigger and badder and all of those things. But the key to humility is, is actually uh, learn through fasting. And there's some biblical precedents that we're going to show there as well. Also, if you are in need of repentance or you're in need of grieving. There's multiple precedents for this in the Bible. When people have done something wrong, what did they do? They would call a fast and pray, uh, and they would say, God, we've offended you. We have offended you. So we are gonna, you know, with, withhold ourselves from, you know, food and, and water at some, in some cases um, in order to do that. The fourth one is to grow in spiritual strength and preparation for ministry, which we know Jesus did. Jesus did a 40-day fast. For that, and although he was physically weakened, uh, when Satan came to him, Jesus was spiritually strengthened by this fast. And then, of course, we know uh, the the disciples looked up uh, Holy Spirit's guidance by fasting, and um, and then the last one is this, and it's really just to seek or gain deliverance uh, or to gain a victory. And of course, we know about. Um, the disciples and Jesus, the disciples came back and they were like, you know, we can't, we can't, Jesus came back from Mount Transfiguration and the disciples were trying to pray for a specific uh, person and this person could not be be healed. Jesus said, These, this person can only be healed by prayer and fasting. And so it was kind of like, you have to be doing that before you get to the prayer. You can't fast during the prayer. You have to actually be doing that. And so all of these things uh, institute for us, whether they're acute situations or whether they're chronic and long-term situations, it, it really begs the question of our spiritual fitness level. And are we spiritually fit? Are we sp spiritually fit for battle? Are we spiritually fit to uh, honor the Lord with our lives? And one of the ways that we can do that is by fasting, because we know by doing that, that we're telling our body, our mind, our heart, our spirit, that we are in control and that God is the Lord of what's going on of what's going on in our lives. I love the story of the lady and uh, when, uh, when Mary and Joseph bring Jesus on the eighth day in Luke chapter two uh, to be circumcised and blessed of the Lord and then the, the, um, the prophet Simeon is there, the, the pastor, and there's this lady named Anna. And I love this story and I don't know why, it kind of gives me chills. I think the Bible says she was in her mid 80s and so she was a servant of the Lord and she would, you know, keep house of the Lord. But this lady, um, she, she just served the Lord. But one of the things that she did, the Bible talks about in Luke 2, it says, uh, and then there was the widow uh, until she was 84. She never left the temple and worshiped day and night, fasting and praying in Luke 2.37. And she was the one that actually got to see Jesus. And so I'm not saying that there's this magical thing that happens with fasting. All I'm saying is that there is a blessing on our lives when we fast and pray. And so how can we not, you know, engage this discipline? And so that's what we're going to be talking about today at church. I hope you can join us. Uh, look for the video to be up uh, sometime around 2.30. That's what we're going to aim for, and uh, you will see this sermon in its entirety. Um, and if you would like to join us in um, in person, we would love it. Uh, we we feel like we have enough capacity and all those things to to um, allow people to attend as many as as need to. And so, but what you need to do is you need to either go to our website on the homepage, scroll down just a little bit, and as you scroll down, you're going to see our COVID-19 update. Underneath that COVID-19 up, uh, update, you're going to see a couple of links, one for our 9 a.m. service that goes to 10, and then also one for our 10.30 service, which goes to 11.30.
and we would love, love, love to see you at one of those services. But until then, God bless you, and uh, we pray you have a good day, and we'll see you again at 2.30. God bless.